pretties welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to show y'all how I got my curls to blend I got sent some bundles and a closure from a company called I show hair and unfortunately I think I was sent the wrong closure because the textures do not match at all excuse me I know I'm sneezing all on camera <laughs> but anyways the textures do not match at all what I'm going to have to do is first spray down the curly end with water and I know it's in an alpha g bottle but y'all it's just some water in there you know you're a country girl you'd be very resourceful you just make anything into a water bottle but I'm brushing my hair and I'm going to get my hair very saturated because for the next product that I'm going to be using to enhance these curls, you want that hair to be nice and juicy. All right, so this is what the hair and the curls look like with just water. Now I'm using this product it's called Curls Unleashed by ORS. Let me know how y'all like this down below. I actually just got it from my local Dollar General because it was on clearance for a dollar and thirty cents, y'all. And I was like, let me try this out. I need something curly. Um, and I really, really like it. I think it's really pretty and it made the hair look even more gorgeous. So you see the side with the product and the side without the product. And you can be the judge of it. But I think the curls look really, really, really pretty. I was a little worried about how my curls were going to show up because this is a black hair unit and I had on a black shirt. So I was like, oh my gosh, I hope that they can see the texture and the curls and the pattern. But I think it looks really good on camera. In fact, as soon as I'm done with this voice memo, I am about to go and enhance these curls and do the style again because I want to look cute. I ain't going nowhere though. Now for the top. So the top was the challenging part because I had to get these curls to best match this naturally curly hair. So what I decided to do was take a curling wand and take small sections of the closure and a little bit like maybe a track of the curled hair to the curly hair. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the curling wand. Now the curling wand is actually a very quick method. Really, as soon as you wrap it around, you can go ahead and let it go. There's no need for you to hold it or anything like that because the curls are just going to snap right into place. To preserve these curls, what I would do is use some flexi rods if you don't want to do this every single day. But it really only takes about 15 minutes. And basically now I am just showing y'all how I'm doing the curls. I'm not going to do it all here on camera because a little bit after you've seen this so many times, you are going to get the gist. Just basically keep curling the hair. Keep doing this until you do both sides of the closure and do not pluck it out until you are all done. And that's it. In the next clip, you're going to see what the final look looks like. All right, y'all, so this is what the hair is going to look like once you're done with the styling, um, once I'm done with the styling. As you can see, it does give a nice enough transition. No, it's not perfect by any means because y'all see what we started off with. However, I think that at the end of the day, it's a nice blend. I just think for the textures being so vastly different that this definitely is... Um, a look that's doable and workable you know what i'm saying it's not going to be perfect but i think that it is definitely a nice style now getting into some of the specs of the hair well all of the specs i was sent this hair from a company called i show hair and i just have it up pulled up on my phone if y'all wonder why i keep looking down but i was sent a 22 24 24 and a 20 inch lace closure and it's a it's the Brazilian Loose Deep Wave, three bundles with a lace closure, basically. Um, three bundles is definitely super full. When I wanted to review with the company and I told them, I was like, can I have like four bundles just because I'm so used to normally now getting four bundles of hair, especially if it's anything over 20 inches. And they were like, well, the hair is pretty thick. It's 9A gray hair, so you will probably only need the three bundles and the closure. And I'm so glad that I was just like, okay about it. Because let me tell you, I don't see how any more hair, do y'all see how big this hair is? I don't see how any more hair could have 
fit on this wig. It just would have looked too ridiculously uh, big, especially because I haven't really been even wearing big hair lately. So I'm very, very happy with that. Moving on to the shedding and the tangling. I have not had any shedding or I haven't had any tangling. And that says a lot because honestly, y'all, I've had this hair installed since I want to say Thursday. It's now Monday. And every single night, all I've been doing is just laying down. I lay my pregnant self down to go to bed at night. And I don't even do anything with my hair anymore. I don't try to braid it up. I don't try to make it like preserve itself. I don't do anything. I just lay down. I don't even put a bonnet on. So for me to be doing all that, um, when I wake up, I just normally have to brush it because there's obviously some tangling. It's curly hair. I brush it out. I put a little water and that's it. It's ready to go. This wig and this hair would be perfect and it would absolutely be an ideal unit if I would have gotten a matching closure to the bundles. I, I definitely think that this was done in error. I don't think that the quality of the hair or I, I just I just don't think that they would have thought that this kind of like oh, I want to say body wave texture would go with this loose deep wave and this loose deep wave is almost I'm going to stand up again for y'all like a curly so I'm pretty confident that I just got sent the wrong one however we making it work the part in space is really 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 good I did go in and bleach my knots so that's what that's looking like. I added a few pieces of those baby hairs. Now I'm getting a little bit better on y'all, just a little bit. And that was it. Oh, and I also used a lace wig spray. Let me, let me go get it for y'all real quick. I wanna show y'all this spray. It's really Okay, this spray is by Wig Stensions and it's in the color golden. They have golden, I wanna say they have bronze, they have a warm, they have a variety of colors, but basically all you do is you just take it and you just spray it over your lace. And it's, and basically you can mix the shades, you can do three pumps, five pumps, eight pumps, however many pumps of the spray that you need to get your perfect lace color. So that's all I do. I did add a little bit of concealer initially and it was a little bit too light. And I was like, oh shoot. It was like a big white spot here, but I remembered I had this spray, so it really came in handy, and I just went ahead and sprayed it a few times, and it was perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a little bit of a turn, let y'all see what everything is looking like from all them angles, girl. Hair flip. <laughs> I think that this hair is super pretty. I'm going to say that I definitely recommend it the only con again is the closure but i don't want to harp on that way too much just really make sure um to the company just make sure you are paying attention to that and sending out the right closures just because of that reason this could make this wig kind of a turn off for someone especially if you're doing something like going on vacation i can totally see why you may not want to take this one because you're going to get your hair wet every single day and you may not want to take the time to curl and wind it I mean, it really only takes 15 minutes, but I, I totally get it. 15 minutes on vacation is like 15 minutes too long. So that's the only con about this hair thus far. I am going to do an update video because with the curly units, I find that a lot of them will start off really nice, really pretty. Everything is good to go. And then in a couple of months, it starts to be a bird's nest. It's just a hot and total mess. And I want to be honest, I want to have a lot of integrity and I want to give y'all the real nitty gritty on my wig unit. So I will be giving y'all an update very, very, very soon. I'm going to continue to wear this hair and let y'all know. Anyways, comment down below and let me know how you like the style and if you will be trying out this hair. And also, please tell me any other wig units that you would like for me to review. Thanks so much for watching my channel. Remember to stay pretty. Oh, and do not forget to press subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be tuned into everything that's on my channel. <laughs> All right, y'all. Stay pretty. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.